Hey YouTube, it's Jeffrey Hallis Carpet Cleaning. It is March the 8th and it's a beautiful wet and rainy day outside but we got ourselves a bit of uh, premium carpet cleaning that we're going to be doing today. We are in Milwaukee, Oregon doing premium carpet cleaning. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of what we're going to be doing. Of course, um, we do our famous three-stage process. A lot of uh, carpet cleaners both doing all these multiple steps and things that they're doing but really they're doing three things and what those three things are is, is that they need to do a pre-vacuum i know that there's a lot of carpet cleaners out there that don't even do a pre-vacuum especially when you start uh talking about these 99 dollars you know for three rooms or whole house for 149 and stuff i guarantee that if you were to call them and ask them what does the job actually include and what does it not include pre-vacuum is one of them the second thing it will not include is any specialty stain removal such as red spots which are the most common if you have kids because they're always drinking stuff that has red dye in it that stuff gets splashed on onto the carpets and um yeah so anyway so it won't include that so the second stage that we take is our, uh, um, we apply our, our carpet cleaning solution on the ground and we perform agitation on it. And um, that's the second thing that a lot of carpet cleaners don't do is they don't perform a very good agitation system. You know, as far as scrubbing that cleaning solution into all the carpet fibers, um, that is very crucial and critical to uh, getting um, uh, especially residue and things like that out of the carpeting because things are attracted to residue like a magnet so dirt actually sticks to um, the the fibers sort of like velcro how velcro works with the bars and hooks sticking to each other so so dirt and carpet fibers do the same thing when there's residue involved um, the second, or I'm sorry, the third step that we do is our steam cleaning extraction. Now there, there's a couple different means of doing extraction. You can do absorption through uh, bonnet cleaning, that's one way to do it. And the other is uh, through the, the more commonly known hot water extraction or steam cleaning process, which is what we take. We've got ourselves a uh, nice truck mounted, powerful truck mounted steam cleaning system that we use to uh, to, to clean out all the carpet. So it's those three steps. You got the uh, dry debris removal, you got your, your soil uh, suspension process occurring, and then step three is you have your extraction process. Now, um, there's tons and tons of, of minute details and things involved in those three processes, but I try to keep it, you know, as simple and as easy to understand for the customer as I possibly can. So we're going to go ahead and uh, begin with a super, super vacuum to get as much debris out of the carpet as possible before we even begin our our steam cleaning process. Because you got to think, you know, you, you put your uh, pre-spray solution down on carpeting that contains lint, hair, and all kinds of debris. Now your pre-spray solution is being diluted with all this junk and having to compete with all the crud in the carpet and not having its full 100% efficiency and effect upon the the uh, residues and things in the carpet that it really needs the most attention. So we remove all that stuff and get it out of the way before we even try to attempt to um, do our cleaning process so that we get maximum efficiency as we clean. All right, so we're moving into phase one of our cleaning process, which is the dry soil extraction removal process, um, aka vacuuming. So what we're going to use here is we're using a Kirby, and the reason I've chosen to use a Kirby as opposed to other vacuums that are available. The Shark is an excellent canister vac that works great. Um, there are differences between canisters and bags. The Kirby is a bag. Um, one of the reasons I choose to use the Kirby is because it is an excellent, it has very excellent, you know, airflow and suction and all that. Um, it's very good um, along baseboards and pulling up, I mean, this is a very clean house, but it's very good at picking up debris along baseboards. 
without having to break out a hose and suck those all that stuff up individually because the the airflow is so great in it. The other reason that I use it is because this is one of the tools that um, most customers are able to identify with right off the bat. Um, everybody knows a car, you know, a Kirby vacuum cleaner, and they can all relate with it because they've had parents or grandparents or whoever they have some sort of association with it. So it kind of becomes a, a conversation piece, you know, to break ice when you begin cleaning with the customer. And the other is that it's just a great vacuum cleaner. So um, you can pick, this one here is the latest generation. I think it's a, it's a generation 10 model that I picked up literally new off of Craigslist for 200 bucks. Now, the person who owned it before me paid 3,500 bucks for it. So <laughs> figure out the difference between 3,500 and 200. And um, yeah, so there are deals to be had when you're looking at equipment. Um, I just happened to, to look at the right place at the right time and I was able to pick it up. So things worked out great for me in that situation. But um, I pick up stuff off of eBay every now and then for, you know, super low price. And then turns to find out that, you know, later on down the road, everything is four or five times as, as expensive as the deal that I got. And I've just been lucky over the years of just finding things at the right place at the right time. Um, call it luck or just call it God's provision over, you know, knowing what you need and when you need it. And, you know, he leads you to things. So anyways, what we're going to do now is we're just going to pre-vacuum the entire place using this vacuum cleaner here. And that right there is where we want to be, you guys. It's that easy. So I've just completed um, phase one, which is a dry debris removal of the carpeting. And if you looked at the carpeting, it wasn't, it didn't appear to have any, you know, much contaminants or anything in the carpeting. But we went ahead and we pre-vacuumed. Now, if you notice, all of the furniture has been purposely removed and picked up off of the carpeting by the, the homeowner which I appreciate immensely because it makes it so easy to come in and clean carpets. Um, it's very difficult when a person calls and asks if I move furniture. Um, I, I usually, I'll tell them that I'll, I'll remove a moderate amount of furniture. I'm not going to move a bed. I'm not going to move, you know, big things like entertainment systems or bookcases or anything like that. I will move a couch out of the way, furniture out of the way, end tables and that sort of thing, but and then it really depends even on end tables because if they have a bunch of stuff piled on them, I'm not going to touch them because it's a liability issue at that point. So if it looks like there's any breakables or expensive lamps or anything like that on it, an end table, I'm not going to even touch it. But we went ahead and I have to say that um I know a lot of you guys differentiate all of your, your carpet cleaning between your high-end and your low-end customers and all that. But really, you got to treat every single customer as a VIP customer because that is what, um, regardless of a person's income level or where they live or the cars they have parked out in their driveway, um, every single person who calls you deserves your best. Um, you need to keep... Of with you, the integrity of your work and just treat every single customer the same regardless. Now, uh, as far as carpet cleaning, levels of cleaning, things that you do in that, obviously you can't maintain that, but you need to maintain the same level of honesty and integrity with your carpet cleaning. So, with that said, I'm going out over and beyond anything that I can possibly do because I do know that there is soil debris does build up in the carpeting I do know it's invisible you can't see it 
but it, it happens and I do know that that is what causes permanent wear and tear damage on the carpeting so with those things in mind I can't just go and not do it knowing that that stuff is there so that is the reason for the pre-vacuum and I hope that you guys can use that as a tool in marketing yourself that that's what sets you apart from the other cheap uh, carpet cleaners that are out there is that you are actually going through and you're doing a full full cleaning job um, you really you are improving the longevity of the carpet much longer than a splash and dash carpet cleaner who's who's cleaning the place for like you know 90 bucks or whatever it is um, I get that all the time customers are telling me you know I got this coupon for ninety nine dollars blah 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 and my prices are like you know way above what <laughs> this coupon thing is and I you know the last time it was a gal who came over from next door asking about it and she had a, a baby in her arm so immediately I knew her house was pretty clean um, you know she was a young gal so I know that she didn't have a bunch of kids drinking Kool-Aid and splashing stuff all over the place because this looked like it was about six months old and she, she didn't have any pets in the house so I knew that the house, home was going to be clean and it was going to be an easy clean but I, I told her you know I can't meet this $99 coupon that you have and immediately I pointed to my CRB that I had setting out and I said look at this machine here it's going to groom the carpet it's going to pull out any lint or anything that's in the carpet it's also going to take the cleaning solution that I put down it's going to scrub the carpets and it's going to make it it's going to sanitize neutralize and deodorize making it even safer for you know her son that she was holding to be crawling around in the carpets because you know I'm I'm basically I am um, pulling out all the debris breaking down all the residue and then I, I pull it out with the, the steam cleaning which you know may or may not have come out anyways with just steam cleaning process so I'm going way up and beyond so it's perceived value that you really need to show to the customer perceived value and 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 that's what sells the, the carpet cleaning so regardless if a person is a price shopper or just asking you know what you're doing you need to present yourself showing them what you do and why you do it um, not the cost the cost is secondary in most cases once a person is realizing <laughs> what all is involved with the cleaning process and the reasons for why you're doing things the way you're doing okay so this uh, commences phase two of the soil suspension process what we are doing is we got this electric sprayer with our pre-spray in here it's a two gallon jug of sodium carbonate by master blend it's a soap free solution so uh, I believe it's about a 9 pH but it's free rinsing it neutralizes um, as it dries and evaporates and pretty much turns into water and whatever else is in the, the product so um, this stuff here with the pre-spray I got a new tip on here it's it's pretty forceful and strong so uh, basically you don't have to spend a whole lot of time you're just basically waving over the, the floor as you possibly can now with the the soap free stuff I wanted to say when you're mixing up a hydroforce a hydroforce um, I was told years ago that the Hydroforce, the tip that it comes with is a 9 to 16. Now I believe they may have reduced that down to another tip just so that it's easier for people to do the math because uh, a lot of people never graduated uh, ninth grade mathematics and figuring out how to uh, balance out equations and all that good stuff. Um, but roughly with the hydro for most of those jugs I believe standard they are five quarts and when you do the math and break them down it's they really come out to be about six gallons per hydro force with the water that gets added to them as your sprain so uh, whatever your gallon per gallon dilution is multiply that by about six and that gives you a perfect hydro force uh, solution dilution at that point it works great um, it may swing a little bit per uh, 
per chemical, you know, they'll they'll change the dilutions, but usually it's right around six. So uh, keep that number in mind. I mean, those of you who uh, do a lot of carpet cleaning already probably know that. But um, for you guys starting out, I know that my mind was racked, you know, trying to figure out the different dilutions going from. <laughs> four or two ounces of this product per gallon and trying to figure out what I was supposed to be putting into a hydro force so um, I wish I would have known that it would have saved a lot of headache the magic number is six so just take whatever the bottle says or the granules and multiply by six and there's your hydro force dilution so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna pre-spray all this and then we will move on to uh, the second part of phase two which is the agitation via the CRB machine and when we get to that part, I will uh, show you a little bit, introduce that machine to you. So this is the CRB or counter rotating brush machine. Um, I basically use this for agitation, for agitating the uh, carpet cleaning solution into the carpets. Now, when these things were originally developed years ago, um, they were primary force or... Uh, primary force primary objective was uh, basically commercial carpet cleaning however um, as things evolved um, they started being used more and more for agitation and the blue brush on there is is not a uh, like a commercial carpet cleaning brush this is a residential soft brush so <clears throat> on the carpet fibers it is very gentle and doesn't have um, as nearly as aggressive as let's say a black brush that has stiff bristles these are really soft so the mechanics on this particular machine um, this is a brush pro unit um, it's extremely durable um, longevity wise I've had this unit for literally three to five years somewhere right in there and the only thing I've ever had to replace were some little uh, plastic um, washers that are in there for the, the the steel rods holding those brushes in place but other than that i've never had an electrical issue or anything this is an electrical ran product um it has an australian gearbox in it don't buy anything that has any chinese stuff in it because it will break and rust out and they're pretty much all plastic parts in the chinese versions and the whole thing will basically fail and fall apart on you after a couple of years um but anyways um, to use this particular machine, it's very simple. It has a little lock mechanism here, and you can simply pull down the handle, and it engages. So, um, you can see that there's a collection tray that's connected on the back. There is one for the front, but the reason I don't have one on the front is so that I can get close to uh, wall baseboards down there without banging into them. And it does a really good job of just picking up lint and matted hair and, and that sort of stuff out of the carpeting and throwing them into collection trays. And when you're dealing with like cheap polyester, um, a lot of times that stuff begins to fray. And it is a danger for uh, health purposes and reasons and respiratory issues. Breathing that plas those plastic fibers and getting them caught in your lungs and everything. So the... Uh, CRB will pull some of those loose fibers out, making it safer and less potential that you're going to actually inhale and have that stuff in your body, which you really don't want. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and get going here, and we're going to CRB this room and move on from there. So phase two is 100% accomplished in this room. We pre-sprayed and we've gone ahead and done the agitation. Now, um, we don't have to be too concerned about uh, residues in bedrooms. You know, usually when there's adult, there's they're not with no kids. They're not eating food in the bedroom or anything. So, or if they do, it's very. Um, infrequently so you're not going to be dealing with like residues from food and stuff in the carpeting so that may be a good qualifying question to ask your customer whether or not they have any uh small children or wild kids that act like animals tearing through the house and eating food all over the place because that gives you a pretty good idea of what you're going to be facing when you when you enter the home 
So what we're going to do now is that we're just going to go ahead and continue this process throughout all of the rest of the house. And I will catch you again in just a moment when we bring in our lines and everything for the steam cleaning process. So this includes our three-stage premium carpet cleaning in Milwaukee, Oregon for today. Um, when people ask what makes Howell's carpet cleaning different than other carpet cleaners and why are your prices different than other carpet cleaners, I simply uh, will shoot them a link to this YouTube video and it answers all of their questions and then they're no longer wondering why this why that well this guy really does get in there and clean things up so you guys need to differentiate yourselves and sell yourself on the services that you actually perform not based upon the prices of other carpet cleaners so there you have it jeffrey howells carpet cleaning if you have any comments or questions please feel free to leave it in the, the space below as well as if you happen to be in the southeast portland area and in need of some carpet cleaning or upholstery cleaning of any kind whether it be furniture in the house or vehicle, upholstery, RVs, boats, all that stuff, feel free to give me a call personally. I will help you out. My name is Jeffrey, and my number is 503-939-0534. God bless, and have a great day.